Hi Scorpio, so this is going to be for the second week of August 2022 and that will extend from the 7th to the 14th. Now, we're going to talk about that female energy that was coming in at the end of the first um, day, okay? Now as you're moving, or the first week, sorry, sorry, it's been a rough go, I've been doing a lot of videos. So in that, um, <laughs> in that second week, uh, there's a uh, Queen of Pentacles that's coming in. Now, Queen of Pentacles person is a very practical person, okay? It's someone who takes care of, like, everything. It's like, you know, the, the perfect woman, the perfect wife, the perfect person, okay? And this person is coming into your life, and they're helping you in some way. They're helping you find success, okay? And you know, they're very generous and nurturing, welcoming, very comforting. They're a caretaker, more than likely. Practical, sensible, full of self-care, is aware of how to take care of themselves, okay? They have a self-made success. They made their own success in life. They're possibly a homebody now. Maybe they're retired. A hostess. Maybe someone who uses their uh, skills to make other people feel comfortable, okay? Now, it's someone who is dealing with uh, security and down, very down to earth in their attitude. Okay. And you know, the, the secret behind this person is that they know how to manifest things in their life. They keep things simple. Okay. And they understand the value of time and energy and yeah, money. So indeed, they're the type of person that focus on the practicalities, but also they worry about the future. They provide for the future and they think about the future. They know how to live within their means and perhaps this person is teaching you. Perhaps you've been overspending or perhaps this person is teaching you things or certain skills so that you can make your money stretch, okay? Now, they're the type of person that basically says, you know what, you don't need all that fancy shit. You don't need all that fancy shit to be happy and to be wealthy. Or maybe this is you speaking these uh, these words, okay? Maybe you're speaking to the Queen of Pentacles and you're telling that person, you're saying, you know, I don't need that to be happy. I just want to feel secure and I want to feel serene. Now, the Queen of Pentacles talks about enjoying your life, okay? Enjoy your life because you have worked for it. You cultivated this life-work balance, okay? And possibly the Queen of Pentacles has done that also. Now, when the Queen of Pentacles is working, they're very reliant, very loyal to their job, okay? They do what they got to do and very committed to their task. They never leave a task undone, okay? And if there's an issue that needs to be dealt with, they will take care of it because that's just the type of person they are. Now, this would be an earth sign individual, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or um, Virgo. I'm a Virgo, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and they're someone who puts all their effort into what it is that they're trying to achieve, okay? But when they're, when they're not at work, when they're with their family or their friends or um, their partners, okay, they are focused on their partners. And for some reason, in the second week of August 2022, a female figure, an authority figure, possibly a mother, a sister, an aunt, um, a cousin, a friend, whoever it may be. They're focused on you. They're focused on you for some reason because they're concerned about you and they want to help you. And they are going to spend all their time and effort to be present with you, to be present with you, to hear you out, to talk out any concerns that you have. And if you have any issues to help you find an answer to those issues. Now, the odd thing about this card is the card is, you know, the cards are all saying basically in the first two uh, weeks, of August that you feel kind of destabilized and you don't feel grounded, okay? You know what? You know what, Scorpio? You're thinking too far ahead. Enjoy it for what it is. Take, by, take it step by step and enjoy it for what it is day by day, okay? Don't freak about, you know, what might happen or what could happen, okay? Day to day. Day to day because you know what? That's all we can do right now. And we just came out of this lockdowns and things. And you know what? We might be going back into it. But you know what? Take it day by day and don't worry about it. Stress causes illness. Illness, I mean, you know, disease. Stress causes illness and illness causes disease. So you know what? Be very vigilant in taking care of your health. If you're a smoker, cut back on the smoke. If you're a drinker, cut back on the drink. If you eat too many trans fat or you're not taking vitamins and nutrients and minerals and providing your body what it needs to fight things that are taking place in our world now, maybe it's time you started focusing. And perhaps that Queen of Pentacles is coming in and saying, you know what? Listen, Scorpio, 
Let's get this done. Let's get your health in track. And that's what the cards are talking about in the second week, okay? Now, it's talking about the fact that you are exactly where you need to be right at this point in time. So don't compare yourself to others or don't compare yourself to what others have or what others have achieved in their life. Okay, you are where you're meant to be and you have achieved what you were meant to achieve. And if, if, if there's more to achieve, you will achieve that. The divine has given you a plan and you are following through on this plan, okay? You are God's creation or the divine's creation or whatever your spiritual affiliation is. You are a creation of what you have brought into this world. And you have been given these gifts to do things with, so do something with them. Now it's talking about your creativity and it's talking about the fact that the Queen of Pentacles mm -hmm. is encouraging your creativity. The Queen of Pentacles is encouraging you to thrive on those things that you're so focused on. Focus on uh, the things that you want to manifest in your life. But, you know, it's kind of talking about the fun things in your life. Not all work and play, or not all work. You need some play too, right? And so the Queen of Pentacles is basically trying to get you to focus on less the problems and the issues in your life and start to enjoy the things in your life, the hours in your life, the seconds in your life, the minutes in your life, the simple things in your life, okay? It talks about not running after um, status symbols. Don't run after status symbols. Don't run after the what ifs, the, the maybes, the I need this, I need that, I need a Maserati, I need a, you know, a mansion, I need to own my own home. So what? Yeah, we'd all like a Maserati. I mean, I wouldn't though, because they're all fiberglass, right? I mean, there's pros and cons to getting everything you want. I mean, great, it's owned a Ma Maserati, but you know, you get a Maserati, you might have a tendency to speed and that might get you in an accident. And I rest my case, right? So don't be always looking for, not saying don't look for betterment in your life, okay? I'm saying strive for the stars, reach for the stars, that's great. But don't be so down on yourself that you haven't achieved this at this point in your life and putting yourself down and kind of like, you know, defeating the purpose. The purpose is to thrive in your life, to enjoy your life, to be excited about waking up every morning. And that, my dear Scorpio, is what you need to focus on in that second week. So let's move over to that third week and I'll see what happens. Okay, I'll be right there. Bye.